Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be looking at some magazine collage and using some collage to express ourselves. So I'm working in one of my journals where I had this painty background. Now it was painty because I had a load of, I was emptying out paint palettes and um, uh, paint tubes, sorry. And this is sort of the final scrapings from the bottles were put onto this page. So it's very eclectic. They are not colours I would usually put together. Um, and I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do with this page. So one of the first things I chose to do was to try and tie the two pages together was to put some white on it. And I chose to put this stencil over both pages. Now I'm just using some gesso. So it's um, a little bit more translucent, I suppose, than if I'd just used a regular white paint. But that's okay. It, you get the hint of the background. And to be honest, um, I knew I was probably going to do something over the top. So I wasn't that concerned that, you know, some of the stenciling had leaked underneath and, you know, it wasn't necessarily all opaque white over the top. But it just gave that sort of um, unity to the page. So once I'd finished, I then dried off my page, cleaned up a little bit. I was thinking about putting another um, stencil on the page, but I decided not to. I thought it was already busy enough with the bright colours in the background and the stencil over the top. I was like, mm, no, you don't need to add more to this. What I did do, however, because it's me, was I added some neons to the page. Now, um, I really love using neon colours. And um, you probably think, but you don't really need more colour on this page. And no, I didn't. But the cool thing about neons is because they're translucent, you can put them particularly over whites and they're really going to boost the colour and sort of blend in a little bit, which I quite liked because particularly those two patterns, the sort of circly, liney patterns down the bottom, I wasn't 100% a fan of. So by adding the, the colour over that, that really helped. So one of my quick, fast tricks for doing magazine collage is um, I love putting borders on them. Um, usually I would, you know, cut out bits of magazine or paper to do it, but I actually find using my washi tape up is really, really handy because I've got a lot, but I don't use it very often. So what I go around the outside is put down some bigger pieces and then I fill in the gaps with smaller ones. I love using little bits of black and white. Um, tearing them up into smaller pieces. I like using metallics on them as well. Um, you can see me with some wider tapes here with some black and white pattern. I'm just tearing off little bits just to add to that collaged effect in the background. So it's a really, really simple way to make a border really, really quickly. Um, and that will work for anything that you're doing, whether it's, you know, for a card front, you could do a border on a scrapbook page or around a photo, or if you're doing it in your art journal. It's just a quick and easy way, one, to use up your washi tape, and two, to, to make it sort of blend in. I just received some new, the newest Dilusions uh, sheet number four, but nothing in it actually really inspired me. So I went to my collage box and I found these two images which I thought, oh, I'll use those because I had a lot of pink on the page. So I thought these pink arms would be quite cool. Reaching out and sort of celebration and then this face over the top. So um, you can mix and match and do whatever you want. Now, I didn't have to sit down and fussy cut these because I'd already had them cut out. Um, it's a great thing to do while you're watching TV. If you've got a magazine there that you've, you know, finished going through you can go through and cut little bits and pieces out you'll notice I've got this little bag here which says decorations on it what I tend to do is go through and I've got a little bag for eyes I've got a little bag for heads I've got a little bag for arms and so on so if I'm looking for some decorative type thing like that bow something to put onto the hat that I can just go to that bag and pull something out so I don't need to pull everything out at once I've sort of got it kind of organized into where it needs to be one of the things I do with my collage is to outline it usually in contrasting colors to um, what I've actually got on the page so obviously with the pink I'm going to use a blue to go around it I will actually go around with the black and white as well because um, that's just going to help pop it out from the background so you can see me starting with the black pen there and just 
that black around the blue just really sharpens up the image, makes it really stand out. So this is all about being weird and wacky and fun and crazy. So you can do as much or as little as you want on these images. And it just depends on how much time you have. One of the things I find when I'm doing magazine collage is um, I always like to have quotes with them and the quotes are usually usually a little bit snarky or it's about you know don't be afraid to express yourself you know it doesn't have to be perfect all the time it can be weird it can be wacky it can be you know it can be whatever you want it to be basically and I, I find that sort of really freeing so having these wacky images or out of proportion images to go with it really helps me sort of express that. With the eyes I'm going in so I've changed the eye colour I'm making really pronounced eyelashes on my lady as well and adding in you know bright pink lips. One of the things I found in fashion magazines I'm a real fan of um, you know really bright red lips on my magazine collages and the the style the last few years has been to have very neutral um, lipstick. So it's very hard to find bright red lipstick on um, magazine models these days. So um, if you've got a paint pen, just paint them in yourself, make your own. So I'm adding in some extra line detail, just making this bright and crazy. I'm using some of the colours that you can see in the background as well. Um, but having that black outline around everything really helps things to pop out. Also around the little heart shape, which is a bit hard to see because it's got the reflection on it, I've just put some little stitch lines on it, like the heart stitched onto her. So with my quote, this is one I found um, on Facebook and it just really appealed to me. It sort of summed up how I was feeling um, on the day, which... You know, sometimes it's really important to put those little reminders in your book. And, you know, I could save it in my phone, which I had, so I could come back and do this page. But the fact that I'm actually making the art to go with it, I'm hand lettering the quote into my journal, actually makes me connect with it a bit more. The fact that I'm having to spend so much time going over the letters and widening them out and, you know, making them a focal point means I'm sort of really thinking about the words as I'm, I'm writing them um, and, you know, repeating them to myself. It's kind of like a little mantra to yourself. If it's stuck on my phone, I'll look at it the first time I've got it. Maybe if it pops up in my, my time hop next year on the same day, I might look at it and go, okay, yeah, that was really important. But you know, apart from that, I really don't go back and look at them. If they're in my journal, um, I do. It's just the way I work. So I don't know if anyone else out there is the same. But I just like having these little positive reminders to me that, you know, it's important to do your own thing. So the quote says, ignore the crowd, just be you, just you, with all your quirks, your strengths, your passions, you're real. The world needs you. Um, and I like the fact that the image... Um, on the right hand side is sort of really celebrating the fact that she doesn't care that she's a bit quirky she's celebrating herself uh, when I'm doing magazine collages like this I don't mind writing over my image so you'll see at the top with the crowd and down the bottom with the you you know I ran out of room on the page so I just wrote over my image um, I can still see it it's still part of it uh, it's you know what you choose to do sometimes depending on where I've started my quote I will write out into the border as well it just adds to your whole page it adds to the quirkiness of it it adds to you know the artwork of it it makes it all sort of blend in the background I found the black was a bit hard to read which now looking at it on screen is a bit silly because I could actually read the black easier without the white lining on it but um, in real life the white helps pop it out a little bit I've actually gone inside the black line a little bit so you've got a tiny strip of black then you've got the white then you've got most of the black so it kind of um, ends up being like a shadowed letter um, so it pops out a little bit more from the background and again I'm using white on here but there's nothing to stop you using pink or turquoise or anything else um, to go in the background. I also used a highly patterned background just because that's what I had in my journal book. Um, but you could just do this on a plain, 
plain background too because you've got so much text on it and you've got your bright image as well you don't necessarily have to have everything the kitchen sink in the background so um, you know play with what you like that would look just as good on sort of a plain background too so I hope you have a go at doing magazine collage it's a great way to sort of express your quirkiness um, and just have fun while you're you're working so I hope you have a go until next time bye for now